Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought we would do some more putting. Um, so hopefully you've seen the last video. Um, but what I'm going to do today is actually set up um, just the putting. So we've got the putting mat down here, as you can see. Just turn that around. Okay, so this was nice and cheap off Amazon. Um, it just gives us a straight, it does need a bit of a flat and eye, but it just gives a straight path, straight down here, just to the side of the um, hitting strip or hitting mat. Um, it just gives you that nice even roll. So even the um, the edge of the, the hitting strip, the, it won't like, the ball won't, <coughs> the Mevo won't like it. So what we'll do is we will go into practice. Uh, we'll just log in to E6. Super long password. Um, okay, so we're logged in. And what you can actually do is on the range, you can hit chip and putt. So we'll do that. Let's do some putt 20 foot flat area. And tee off. Let's get my spider, tenderly spider I'm going to use. Let's maximize this screen. Okay, so as I've said before, um, when I'm putting, uh, I use two different balls. So I use the metallic dot on one ball um, for, for your normal shots, and then a normal golf ball without uh, a dot for the putting. I come back a foot or so to the edge of the putting mat. Um, just off the strip. So hopefully you can see that. Okay. Hopefully that's gonna. So here we go. Oh. Ah, sorry. Adjust the device. It's twelve. Let's get the. Just setting the alignment to twelve degrees. So about twenty foot. So it's about you know two two of the screen. Probably not hard enough again. Okay, let's try. There's a slight kink in my mat, just where it's new and it hasn't quite laid itself out. But you can see, I mean, that's, for me, that's not far off at all. Um, so it's a little bit harder, 20 foot. It's a little bit better. Yeah, I felt I did push that a little to the right. Uh, let's see what stats we get. Okay, yeah, it seems to see the ball tailoring off. Right, let's see if we can get one in. 20 foot. Oh, that's a better putt. Okay. Still short, so I've got to get it a bit more of a bit more of a hit. <clears throat> Oh, that's a better putt. Oh, just off the edge. But I must admit, since since putting the mat in, it is it is a lot better. And uh, like I said, thirty five pounds, forty dollars from Amazon. It was basically the cheapest one I could get. Just laid it to the side. Again, about seven foot you want to be for the Mevo I found for the optimum distance. That has got to be it. Interesting, we've got a disconnection. Okay, so interesting. After the firmware, um, it is disconnected. Okay, so the unit actually disconnected then, and I had to reboot it um, and also exit out of the range and back in. So we're interested to see what that is. Okay, so let's get one in. 20 foot. Oh, that's a good putt. Again, just off to the right. If 
bad with a flat stick. Let's try again. Wow, that's interesting. That was way off then. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna hit that short. So that was, I've had one there slightly off. Let's try another. Oh, can't get it in. I mean, it is a 20 foot putt. But I mean, this is pretty good practice. Again, I personally I didn't buy this simulator for, you know, the putting, but. Um, wow, look at that. So that is read something totally different there. Ah, do you know what? There's a cable here. Let's try that again. Yeah. So you can see, I've had a couple of really weird misreads there. Um, I have got the tripod stand quite close to the Mevo, so that could be an issue. Um, but the majority of them are okay. I mean, sometimes it's not going to read it, right? I guess it's part of the. You got to remember, it's you know two thousand pounds. It's it's cheap in comparison to to most of them out there. I've not hit that. Nearly made it. But it's good for your stroke. Um, you know, especially today in the UK, it is absolutely raining cats and dogs. So, well, that's quite hard. Yeah, it did come off left. I think it exaggerates that a little bit in my setup here. All right, let's do one more. Oh, it's a good roll. It's a good roll. Quite get it in. But that's that's the putting. So again. I think it's good enough personally. Um, my setup isn't the best. I'm in a little single garage, a uh, bit of an uneven floor, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, comment on, on what you think on the setup. Let me know how you're getting on with, uh, with the putting. Um, and please, if you haven't, do consider subscribing. Be very much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next video.